Worldwide TV, Bill Charts, and Cammie Rapson. This is Action 2 News at 6, your first alert station. We're now less than two weeks away from WBAY celebrating its 70th anniversary on March 17th. To mark the occasion, we're looking back at the station's history and speaking with a number of familiar faces. This includes a reporter who is now working at the network level with NBC News. Tonight, Jason Zimmerman sits down with Joe Fryer as he shares one of his most memorable moments. This was Joe Fryer's very first job here at WBAY, and he started just weeks after I did in the year 2000. Fryer was an amazing talent, and he says he grew quite a bit from his experience right here, giving credit to many of the people he once worked with. When it comes to storytelling, Joe Fryer has a special knack for it. How would you pay for the budget deficit? And it was something management at WBAY spotted even before he graduated from college. You guys want to try our game? Hiring him right out the door. I literally graduated from college on a Saturday, drove from Evanston, Illinois to Green Bay on a Sunday, turned my first story on a Monday. So I jumped right in. During that time, one of the biggest stories in Northeast Wisconsin broke, a major decision in the Monfile 6 court case. The judges themselves are already very familiar with the written arguments in the Piaskowski case. Involving the murder of Tom Monfiles at the James River paper mill in 1992. It was a story Cami Rapson covered extensively prior to Fryer's arrival. She was at the time doing this in-depth reporting on the Monfile 6 case. And then while I was there, all of a sudden, one of them, Mike Piaskowski, suddenly found out that he would be free, that his conviction would be overturned. I remember Cammie running out of her office, grabbing me, telling me to call Mike Piaskowski's family to tell them. It turned out I was the one who informed his family that his writ of habeas corpus had been granted and that he was going to be released from prison. Fire stayed at WBAY just two years before moving on to jobs at television stations in Nashville, Minneapolis, and Seattle. Then NBC News came calling, which led to a job at the Los Angeles Bureau, a major promotion. That meant I got to actually cover a lot of entertainment and pop culture things, which are actually pretty fun things for me. So I've interviewed some pretty cool celebrities over the years. I've interviewed Madonna, Celine Dion, Tom Hanks, Julia Roberts. And then in 2020, right before the pandemic shut everything down, I got to interview one of my favorite people on the planet, Dolly Parton, and she is just as nice as you would expect. Today, Fryer is still at NBC News, but working in New York City. He anchors on the network's streaming platform during the week, and on Saturday, he's one of the faces of the Today Show. As soon as they announced the plan, critics were eager to speak out against it. Still, Fryer remains grateful for his Green Bay start. And it was a great place for me to have a first job because I, there were just so many experienced journalists there who I could learn from. I learned in those two years probably more than I learned in any other two-year period of my life. Jason Zimmerman, Action 2 News. I love that he remembers that. See what you did? Oh, well, I don't look at him now. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? He, he did pretty well for himself. Oh, I don't yeah, think he, he needed me at all. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really, really cool to see. It is, yeah, absolutely. It's been fun to celebrate uh, our 70th anniversary with all of you. And we've asked you, the viewers, to send in your members of the station, and we're overwhelmed by the response. Paul from Sherwood submitted photos, including this one, of a family trip to our station back in 1961. His parents and six children took a tour on a Sunday afternoon at WBAY TV. Thank you for sending that in. Paul. It looks very similar, doesn't it? Sure you does. can still send us your WBAY memory. Email us at WBAY70 at WBAY.com. You can post it on our social media channels or you can mail our newsroom the old-fashioned way, the address you see on your screen. Your submission could be featured in an upcoming newscast of Action 2 News.